bit sorry for Ishmael Barrero of Cuba. He had no idea what happened there. And we shall digest it later on because the action matches on. It is now the time for the gold medal match for Russia. Minyan Semenov. He's the man in red, his opponent yeah. from Iran, Hamid Mohamed Soryan. Tough guy. He's the guy who beat uh, Uzbek in the, the semi finals. He's the five times world champion, Soryan. So, can he make it a wonderful six here? He's also Olympic champion. And two time Asian champion, by exactly. the way. Exactly, so he's got a so, plentiful CV against Semenov. Who was a bronze medal at the Olympics in, uh, in London. So it's a real world class battle, and I wonder if they've been inspired by the efforts there of Tazmudarov, who started like a house on fire. And they're going for it here, Semenov, and sorry, and Semenov in red, the Iranian in blue. And you've been impressed so far today that Daniel was Sorian, the Iranian. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's gonna it's a choke between the two uh, monsters of the uh, of wrestling. Yeah, they, they are looking very skinny because they they cut probably a lot of weight. Sure. So you can see the see the legs, you know, not, but you know those guys have so fit so much. Yeah. The Iranian is protesting. I think he stood on his foot there, yeah. Semenov, yeah. unintentional. Ooh. Put Sorian we never know. on the back foot. <laughs> oh, boy, exactly. <laughs> when you're this level, you can... Looks like it's an unintentional, exactly. but you know, sometimes, you know... That's the real skill, to hide your intention and to confuse your opponent. Well, this is a clash of the titans in Tashkent, Russia and Iran. <laughs> The moment is Semenov of Russia trying to be aggressive. Uh, arm troll, try an arm troll. He is stepping out of the uh, outside of the uh, and now trying to have a under control to go the, to the to the belt of the Iranian. On this this time the Russian is dominating the tempo. I will not say this. Not, not said with the bout, but the tempo of the bout. And uh, oh, so the Iranian looks so passive now. Uh, you get caution. He's in a referee's position. Let's see what the Russian is going to do. Both of them try to stall the, the stop. To want to lay down to protect his belt. Well, they have to wait for the referee's yeah, whistle. Yeah, yeah they have. To, he had to be, the Russian had to be flat, the, the hands flat on the stomach and not moving. Okay, now it's okay. Well, Sorian makes a quick move there. He's looking imploringly to the referee to say, split this up. The Iranian stuck on the mat, can Semen of get his hands underneath the shoulders. He's got it. Crawling on the mat. Nothing produced. The Russian is unable to penetrate under. Oh, well, he just trying, grabs his head there instead. Uh, there, Semenov. Tried to lift his upper body, that it did, didn't work. No, nope. sorry, Ann. Good defensive skills, but you would expect that from a five time world champion, the man in blue. Just check the, the steps of the Russian outside sometime. You will see, you see, like he step on, on, the, on the toes. Should not step on the toes of the opponent. It's that intentional, unintentional step. It's an intentional, inten unintentional. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what you say. <laughs> well, very clever work from Semenov. He's kept himself in this match. He had Sorian in parterre, couldn't get the big throw to get a handy lead uh, here. The yeah. Iranian been warned. Yeah, warned by the referee for the head down. But uh, for me, the right, the, the, the first to start to have the head down is the Russian a few times. Let's see now the effect of the warning from the referee. Both are going head down to attack. Oh, oh, a big snap on the head, on the face. The referee is cautioning, is warning both of them. Not cautioning, but warning <laughs> both of them. You can see. I think it. there's a right hook there from Mingyan yeah, Semenov. Yeah. yeah. And that's for Sorian to take back to his corner. That's a good uh, hook from the right side. Exactly. Like it's good in boxing, not in wrestling. 
<laughs> well, the Lord of the Ring at the moment is yet to be decided who is going to be the 59 kilogram world champion. And you've got to fancy Sorian at the moment. Yeah, we will see. We will know that in uh, the, the, the more three minutes, 10 seconds. You see that the attempt of arm throw from the Russian is the one who did the more action to, uh, to, 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 to try to take technical points, the Russian. So I will not be surprised that uh, will, he will surprise the Iranian, except, you know, those Iranians are very useful with uh, those kind of conditions and the World Championship. By the way, the Iranian is a, a left side uh, a stance okay. and the Russian on the right side. So they, sometimes it makes a difference. Oh. Kind of southpaw style, but the choke yeah, hold no, there. No, it's choke, choke, but he can have the control of the head with one arm, not by the head itself. Oh. Semenov just saying, welcome back to round number two here. Another slap there from the Russian. And one thing you can say for the Russian, he's here to win. He's not trying to defend or avoid. He's putting the pressure on Sorian. Yeah, the Russian is uh, uh, making uh, moves to uh, to show that he's active, yeah. but uh, not really uh, attempting to... Uh, oh, there's blood. I think some blood some on the blood, shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming from the nose, as you can see from yeah, Minyan yeah, yeah, yeah. Semenov. Well, it's a tough old sport, the wrestling. And these men are made of strong stuff. Here's that choke hold that the referee stepped in for. Control. And, oh, yeah, you see. Th that's very smart. Very smart. To show that uh, the Iranian did not have the control of one arm with the head. Yep. So he put these two arms on the back to show, hey, ref, watch. <laughs> he's just controlling my neck with two arms and no, uh, with my, his two arms and no arms uh, on, with my head. Well, Semenov tried so. to beat Sorian with both hands behind his back. But he's going to have to get active pretty quick here. Three minutes and 30 gone in this engrossing final. You mentioned the tempo at the start, Danielle. It's been a frenetic pace. It's been non-stop. Yeah, it was uh, was very rhythm uh, on this uh, big tempo. Now the Russian is going on the floor. The referee is asking to wait, as the Iranian to wait. He's been positioned. Okay. Ominion well, Semenov having to defend here. He's working Got hard. Lunch, one point at least. And the Russian, oh, the Russian tried to switch. No way. That was good attempt from the Russian. Good strength from Sorian. Can he get him on his feet here? They're in and already in the lead as we approach the fourth minute. And the referee calls them back to their feet. I'm sure Semenov will be happy about that because he's going to have to produce something pretty quickly here. Yeah. We know how good at defending Sorian is. Two minutes to produce something for the Russians. And uh, two minutes to uh, avoid any attacks from the Russians for the Iranian. So let's see how they're working. I think the, the, the Iranian will be cautioned again. I think he's in danger at the yeah. moment. Yeah, he's, he's there down. So he's going to get tired with this position. Well, he's just going to take to one knee here and look for a bit of respite, but the referee says, no, get up, get on with it. Oh, Another yeah, slap yeah, again yeah. from Semenov. Rough, tough stuff here from the Russian. He's not going to give up without a fight. I told you that uh, I, I can predict uh, what will happen, so the Iranian will go on the floor, and you will see some spectacular... Yeah, he, he got the point for the second question. And Semenov, of course, got the last point, so he is in the lead. He has the momentum, and he's worked for it. He's been the harder working of the two. But in case of time, uh, is the people who get the most valuable point. They are both one point. The second criteria is the, the guy who got the less question, and that's the Russian in this case. And at the moment, Semenov's got Tried, a hold. Tried. Look at the flexibility and strength, though, of Sorian. Oh, well, try as he <laughs> might there, he just couldn't get him up off the ground, Daniel. The, 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 the Iranian was uh, 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 crawling back between the legs of the Russian to put him in bad position, and that was the case. Well, a minute left to decide the yeah. destination of the gold medal. 
Evgeny Semenov of Russia being pushed back by Sorian. Can he get him off the mat? Well, a tangle yeah, of limbs. And it will be one point for the Iranian. I think we're going to see a challenge from the Russians. But the coach thinking better of it. Still time left on the clock for Evgeny Semenov to try and do something. 45 seconds. 40 seconds now. Very, very tough bout, very tough match between the two. For gold medal, by the way, you know, they deliver a lot of, they put a lot of energy, they spend a lot of uh, power. You see the, the walk on the legs also, always pushing, always in pushing the situation or resisting to, to stay on balance. Well, the resistance of Semenov could prove futile here. Hamid Mohamed Sorian, five times world champion. Can he add a sixth here? He's got 10 seconds left to at least look busy. The Russian trying to be rough on the inside, trying to control him. <laughs> but Sorian no way, says no, no slaps way. him away and seals a superb sixth world championship title. The man from Tehran in blue. He gets the gold medal, and my goodness, he deserved it. Daniel, he worked for it in the end. Semenov tried. The experience talk on that case, yeah. I think that's more of it. He's more, more experimented. And uh, he succeeded in that, you know, because it was a very tactical uh, bout between the two. They are both exhausted. They give their maximum. Of course, they are a little dis the Russian is disappointed, of course. But he's still a silver medalist, a finalist. And the thing that for Semenov, obviously he'll review it later, of course, Hamid Sorian, the champion in the end, but Semenov did so much work. Did he make it easier for Sorian? Because Sorian never had to look for him. He didn't have to do anything attacking. He just let the Russian come, 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 come for the whole match. Yeah. You're right. He tried once, twice a, a, a kind of throw, but... Sorian, you know, did the guard wrench that the Russian didn't. And the Russian tried to use the legs and to switch. It didn't work. It didn't work for him. So the Iranian was too uh, too strong, even on the bottom. And at the end, they push him out. It would give him the, the winner point. Push out. It's one point to uh, step out for, uh, the, uh, for the opponent. And that's the way he won the World Championship. Is the mat. Yep. A nice prayer yeah, of thanks yeah. at the end there.